curious boy went to a science fair. He observed there is a string of lights which is not glowing. He brought the lights to his home. Now, there was only one of the bulb which was fused, but the whole light was not glowing. The elders, they said, because this is a series connection. Alright? Now, one another day, he observed there is another string of lights in his house, but there was one more bulb which was fused in this string light, but it wasn't affecting the other ones. Why? The elder said this is a parallel connection. What are these series and parallel connections? Alright, so everybody, that's why we are here to understand what are these series and parallel connections. Let me tell you what we have covered till now. In all of our concept bite sessions, we have done what is Ohm's law. We have done what is voltage. We have done what is current. We have done what is resistance. We have done how to calculate the resistance, right? All of this we have already learned. But today's session is probably the most important concept by session I have ever done. Why? Because in today's session, we are going to take care of what is series connection, what is parallel connection, how do we connect resistance series, how to simplify a circuit, series make kya split hota hai or kya same rata hai, parallel make kya split hota hai or kya same rata hai, right? So all of these things we'll cover in today's short session we call as the concept bytes. So welcome everybody and let's start. All right, so the story started with the observation curious boy. There was a string of light which wasn't glowing because there was one of the bulb which was fused and the elder said this is a series connection. Now what is a series connection? Right? And we have all learned circuit diagrams. See all of these links for the concept byte sessions I have given to you in the description. Please, you know, watch them. Agar aapne nahi dekha hai, usko dekh lo kyunki tabhi aapko aaj ka session achche sohan maayega. Agar aap first time hoor, go ahead, watch it. Right? Ab suno. Pehli cheez. हमने बोला सीरीज कनेक्शन क्या होता है और क्या होता है इसे मतलब फाइनली हम करने क्या है वी कैन सिंपलीफाई अ सर्किट राइट सीरीज कनेक्शन कुछ होता है उसको हम सिंपलीफाई करते हैं वी कैन आल्सो शो इट लाइक दिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट कि भाई पहले अगर हम मोर देन वन रेजिस्टेंस इफ आई कनेक्ट मोर देन वन रेजिस्टेंस देयर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू डू दैट राइट वन ऑफ द वेज इज टू कनेक्ट देम एंड टू एंड कैसे एंड टू एंड यहां से यहां यहां से यहां एंड यहां से यहां राइट right? और दिस इज द सर्किट लेकिन जब आप इस सर्किट को स्टडी करते हो यू वांट टू सिंपलीफाई दिस सर्किट राइट सो यू कैन सिंपलीफाई इट एंड यू कैन रिप्रेजेंट कि भाई यहां पर मे बी आर वन था आर टू था आर थ्री था यू कैन से आई विल नॉट यू नो आई विल नॉट डील विद थ्री रेजिस्टेंस ऑल टूगेदर आई विल ओनली डील विद वन रेजिस्टेंस लेट से इसका नाम हो जाए आई आर इक्ट राइट हम इन तीन रेजिस्टेंसेस को एक रेजिस्टेंस की तरह से पोर्ट्रे कर सकते हैं राइट दीज थ्री रेजिस्टेंसेस वी कैन शो देम लाइक देर ओनली वन रेजिस्टेंस राइट दिस सर्किट हैज ओनली वन रेजिस्टेंस बट दिस सर्किट एंड दिस सर्किट आर एग्जैक्टली द सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंस द ओनली डिफरेंस इज वहां पे तीन रेजिस्टेंस है यहां पर एक रेजिस्टेंस है जो तीन के बराबर है राइट हियर दिस वन रेजिस्टेंस इज इक्विवेलेंट टू दोस थ्री रेजिस्टेंसेज राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई अ सर्किट टू स्टडी इट राइट अब सुनो स्टार्ट करते हैं सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन इन सर्किट से हाउ डू यू सिंप्लीफाई इट एंड वॉट रिमेन द सेम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन सीरीज सर्किट लेट से दिस इज वोल्टेज वी दिस इज रेजिस्टेंस आर वन दिस इज रेजिस्टेंस आर टू एंड इन सीरीज वॉट हैपन्स इज द वोल्टेज स्प्लिट अप वॉट डू यू मीन देखो दिस सर्किट कैन आई से दिस सर्किट इज लाइक अ पाइप लाइन राइट आई कैन से दिस सर्किट इज मोर और लेस लाइक अ पाइप लाइन दिस इज लाइक a pipeline right hai na now in this pipeline what is flowing what is flowing the electrons are flowing from where to where from from the negative terminal to the positive hai na electrons flow kar rahe hain current kahan se ka flow kar raha hai current is flowing from the positive to negative that's a conventional current right okay now these electrons they cannot touch each other why because they are same charges right same charges repel each other so if let's say this particular electron it slows down hai na ye slow ho gaya maan lete hain theek hai agar ye slow hua ab this whole pipeline is kind of connected na agar ye slow hoga iske piche wala slow hoga let me show you the slow electrons with a different color ha huh? this one slowed 
इट मीन्स इफ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन स्लोज डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ लेट्स ए रेजिस्टेंस उसके पीछे वाले इलेक्ट्रॉन क्या होंगे एवरीथिंग विल स्लो डाउन राइट क्यों वाई बिकॉज दे के नॉट कोलाइट दे के नॉट टच ईच अदर फाइन सो दिस विल ऑल्सो स्लो डाउन स्लो डाउन स्लो डाउन स्लो डाउन स्लो डाउन स्लो 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 एवरी इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बिकम स्लो राइट सो दैट्स वाई इफ इफ देर आर रेजिस्टेंस इन सीरीज करंट विल रिमेन द सेम करंट क्या है Current is because of flow of electrons into circuit, right? And circuit is a closed circuit is like a closed pipeline. So if current flow slows down at one particular point, अगर current यहाँ पर और यहाँ पर same नहीं होगा, then what will happen? Charges will accumulate here, which is not possible. Resistance is not a charge accumulating device. इसीलिए current को तो same होना पड़ेगा. If it's a series circuit, means if resistances are connected end to end. देखो end to end, है ना? एक के बाद एक कनेक्टेड है अगर देन द करंट इन ऑल ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंसेस विल रिमेन द सेम डजेंट मैटर कौन ज्यादा है कौन कम है लेकिन करंट सेम रहेगा क्यों एक ही तो पाइप है दिस होल सर्किट इज लाइक अ पाइपलाइन राइट है ना तो करंट तो जो है इट विल रिमेन द सेम बहुत अच्छे अभी सर्किट ओपन है बाई दस्ट टेलिंग यू सर्किट क्लोज करोगे तब करंट फ्लो करेगा राइट वेन यू क्लोज द सर्किट देन ओनली करंट विल फ्लो ना वेन द करंट स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग वेन यू क्लोज दिस सर्किट द करंट फ्लोइंग विल बी सेम Understood? In series, it remains the same. Very good. Now, what will change? Right? Total voltage, which was there, right? The battery or the cell which you connected, it had a voltage of V, right? Current is I. The voltage will split between the different different resistances, right? The voltage will split. How? Current is same I, R1. So I into R1 is equal to V1. V2 is equal to what? I, which is same for both, into R2, है ना? Series में, everybody, listen to me. Series में क्या रहता है? The current remains same and the voltage splits, right? Current remains same and the voltage splits. Very good. So V is equal to V1 plus V2. So I can say V is equal to I R1 plus I R2. And what is V? If I draw a equivalent circuit diagram like this, this is V, this is R, and this is I. I तो सेम ही रहेगा ना भाई, है ना? And R equivalent क्या है? R equivalent into I is equal to V. V is equal to I into R equivalent. Correct? From that equivalent circuit, उस circuit को मैंने इसी का बनाया. This circuit has been I would say redrawn in that form. That is what an equivalent circuit, right? Two resistance nahi honge. Un dono ke barabar ek resistance hoga. We will call it R equivalent. Let's say, hai na? Current isme jitna tha, usme bhi utna hi rahega. Same current will flow. Whatever was flowing in this, same will flow in that. Why? Because that is the same resistance, same circuit, hai na, bhai? Only we are representing multiple resistances with one resistance. It is R equivalent, right? So I R equivalent and V remains same. Now V into R equivalent. What is voltage? V equals I R ohms law, ha? Huh? V is equal to I into R equivalent. So V is equal to from this circuit I am saying V is equal to I R1 plus I R2. From this circuit I am saying V is equal to I R equivalent. Both are same. Both are same circuit, right? So we can say कि भाई I into R equivalent is equal to I R1 plus I R2. Now I is common. You cancel I. So R equivalent is equal to what? R1 plus R2, right? Got it. So in series, the equivalent resistance becomes sum of all the resistances, right? Now let's combine all the knowledge we have gained for series combination. पहली चीज़ in series, current remains same. Same current I flows through the circuit. This is your actual circuit. This is your circuit diagram. All right. Fine. Second is applied voltage is equal to the sum of potential drops across the individual resistor. Battery कितना potential दे रही थी? Battery was giving V. This V was getting distributed in different different resistors, है ना? अलग-अलग resistor अपनी अपनी capacity के हिसाब से इस voltage का कुछ part use कर लेते हैं, right? Total was V, है ना? Total था V. पहले वाले ने use कितना किया? Let's say Resistance कितना था उसका R1 the resistance was R1 so it used up how much I into R1 right remaining कितना बचा V minus I into R1 see what I'm saying is if you have let's say two resistances this is R1 this is R2 and this total voltage is V ठीक है fine let's say current is I 
correct so voltage drop on the first one this one voltage drop is how much i into r1 bacha kitna v v v minus i into r1 which is equal to i into r2 so what i'm saying is v is equal to i r1 plus i r2 aap samajh sakte ho this v voltage is distributed in those two resistances as per their capacity kitna kitna i r1 and i r2 dono ko add karoge to v aana chahiye right so it's very simple all right so total resistance is the algebraic sum of individual resistors three important things for series first current remains same what is distributed the voltage is distributed third the equivalent resistance is the algebraic sum of all the resistances sabko bas aapko add karna hai na series mein itni chalo theek hai aur series mein ek aur cheez thi in series if one resistance is broken current will stop flowing why because it's a closed circuit the current needs a closed circuit to flow if one one resistance stops working or let's say one circuit one resistance is cut the circuit is broken current cannot flow right so series mein if one bulb stops working all the other bulbs will not work that is series connection all right chalo ek question kar lete let's do one question to just uh, comprehend everything we have learned in this right rohan took some time took some of the bulbs from the lighting and began testing by arranging them in a circuit shown below theek hai bhai rohan ne kya kiya rohan ne kuch bulb nikale ek lighting thi aise sab science karte hain ghar pe sab scientists aise hote hain na so he began testing by arranging them in a circuit shown below what will be the reading in the ammeter and the voltmeter in rohan circuit ab ye raha rohan ka circuit all right dhyan se dekho rohan ne kya kiya ye raha rohan theek hai there is a cell very good there is a cell over here then what do we have ammeter to measure the current what do we have first bulb resistance 12 ohm second bulb resistance 8 ohm third bulb resistance 4 ohm and 4 ohm ke across we have a voltmeter iska matlab hum voltage measure kiska kar rahe hain voltage measure we are doing across which resistance think about it see i'm telling you today's session is for those people who have watched all the concept bytes till now diligently dhang se dekhe hain tabhi samajh mein aayega hai na warna you will face problem right we are measuring voltage across this 4 ohm resistance why because connection dekho na we have connected the voltmeter in parallel to the 4 ohm resistance that is why this voltmeter is measuring the voltage across the 4 ohm resistance theek hai fine bahut badhiya ab question hai reading of ammeter and voltmeter तो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इफ आई जस्ट ब्रेक डाउन दिस क्वेश्चन ये क्वेश्चन क्या बोल रहा है एवरीबॉडी हु कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यू पॉज द वीडियो सॉल्व इट एंड देन क्रॉस चेक अदरवाइज कीप लिसनिंग हां ध्यान से देखो भाई दिस क्वेश्चन इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स इज आस्किंग यू व्हाट इन द गिवन सर्किट डायग्राम टेल अस द टोटल करंट फ्लोइंग इन द सर्किट एंड टेल अस द पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द 4 ओम रेजिस्टेंस सर्किट डायग्राम ये रहा इन ट्विस्टेड वर्ड्स व्हाटएवर आई जस्ट सेड the current flowing throughout the circuit and the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistance exactly this is what this question is asking ab isko solve karne ke liye the first thing we need to do is make a circuit diagram because to study a circuit we make a circuit diagram you are not supposed to drop bulbs badhiya badhiya hai na right chalo ab iska circuit diagram kaise banaoge it's very easy yaar if you want to make a circuit diagram of this okay sir what is this 12 volt ka set cell or battery whatever you want to call theek hai 12 volt okay done then what do we have we have an ammeter all right we have an ammeter very good then we have a 12 ohm resistance 12 ohm ka resistance ho gaya then we have an 8 ohm ka resistance 8 ohm ka resistance then we have a 4 ohm ka resistance we have 4 ohm ka resistance across 4 ohm we have a voltmeter so i have a voltmeter here and then we'll close the circuit current will flow like this bas kaam khatam all right circuit is done we have made the circuit all right now what need to do we need to find the reading in the ammeter and voltmeter theek hai ab suno to solve this question the first thing you need to do is let's find the reading in the ammeter how will you make, how will you find the reading in the ammeter first of all you want to find total current ab total current nikalne ke liye hai na this to find this i i need to simplify this circuit ye 12 8 4 is not helping acha voltmeter voltmeter is like what voltmeter is like a open circuit 
वोल्ट मीटर का रेजिस्टेंस कितना होता है आइडियली रेजिस्टेंस फॉर अ वोल्ट मीटर इज इनफाइनाइट सो यू कैन थिंक कि वोल्ट मीटर पता क्या करता है वोल्ट मीटर जस्ट मेजर्स द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दैट रेजिस्टर अक्रॉस विच वोल्ट मीटर इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल लेकिन एज सच वोल्ट मीटर विल नॉट टेक एनी करंट वोल्ट मीटर में कोई करंट नहीं जाएगा मीन्स वोल्ट मीटर इज लाइक अ ओपन सर्किट ठीक है सो इन इन वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स दिस सर्किट इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है, ट्वेल्व ओम्स एट ओम्स एंड फोर ओम्स यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई एमीटर इज लाइक शॉर्ट सर्किट एमीटर का होता है जीरो रेजिस्टेंस आई डेली है ना एमीटर डज नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी रेजिस्टेंस आई डेली ठीक है फाइन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई नाउ टू फाइंड दिस आई यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस सर्किट इन टू अक्यूबेलेंट सर्किट विच इज सिंपल टू सॉल्व कैसे हम बोलेंगे सर आई कैन से दैट दिस इज 12 volts and this is r equivalent and this is i dono circuit same hai this one and that one both are same right correct so when you solve it you will say r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 that is 12 plus 8 plus 4 means 8 plus 4 is 12 12, 12 plus 12 is 24 so 24 ohms is the r equivalent now i you can find why i is equal to 12 upon R equivalent by V equals I R होता है ना, so 12 is equal to I into R equivalent, right? So I it will be 12 upon R equivalent, that is 12 upon 24, that is 0.5 amperes. 0.5 amperes the current flowing in the circuit means it is flowing through each and every resistance. Why? Because all the resistances are in series, है ना? ठीक है, so this I is equal to 0.5 amperes, बहुत बढ़िया. इससे 12 ohm से कितना जा रहा है? 12 ओम से इट इज गोइंग 0.5, 8 ओम से 0.5, 4 ओम से 0.5. दिस इज 0.5 फाइव आई टोल्ड यू यू हैव टू फाइंड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस फोर ओम रेजिस्टेंस मींस यू हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट? वोल्टेज अक्रॉस फोर ओम रेजिस्टेंस विल बी इक्वल टू करंट अक्रॉस फोर ओम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर ओम राइट सो दिस वी विल बी इक्वल टू करंट अक्रॉस 4 ohm resistance multiplied by resistance of 4 ohm resistance is equal to current kitna hai series hai na series means current is same 0.5 amperes right multiplied by resistance of 4 ohm kitna hai 4 ohm simple kitna aa gaya 2 volts so 4 ohm ka resistance is taking up 2 volts right the current flowing through the whole circuit is 0.5 amperes easy ekdam right so 0.5 amperes and 2 volts what did we learn in this question first circuit diagrams second how to find equivalent resistance third how to find the current after you have found the equivalent resistance fourth how to find potential drop across any particular resistance ye sab cheeze humne is ek question mein learn kari right i hope it is clear fine okay chalo aage chalte hain नेक्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉज कि भाई देर आर फ्यू सर्किट इन विच वन बल्ब इज फ्यूज बट स्टिल अदर्स आर नॉट अफेक्टेड इफ दे आर अफेक्टेड इट वॉज अ सीरीज कनेक्शन बट दे आर नॉट अफेक्टेड एंड वी आर सींग इट इज अ पैरल कनेक्शन सो वॉट इज अ पैरल कनेक्शन एंड वॉट इज एंड हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम सीरीज है ना चलो ध्यान से देखते हैं पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन इन सर्किट पैरल क्या होता है राइट पैरल इज वॉट वेन टू लाइन्स आर at same distance from each other right that is what we call as parallel resistance same thing lagbhag wahi hal hai resistance 1 and resistance 2 resistance 1 and resistance 2 they are not connected end to end they are connected from a common point kya matlab hai sir iska matlab pata hai kya hai this is one point this is r1 this is one point this is r2 r1 r2 dhyan se dekho point a or point b there are two points only between these two points we have connected two resistances ye wale right this is parallel connection ye ek dusre ke parallel hain kyun kyunki do, both have common nodes dono ke end point common hai r1 ka end point kya hai think about it r1 ka end point hai ye aur ye r2 ka end point kya hai r2 ka end point kya hai ye aur ye both the resistances they have common end points in series the end points were connected end to end r1 r2 r3 right got it so got the basic difference between uh, parallel connection very good so this is my uh, voltage this is my battery let's say theek hai 
this is my R1 and this is my R2. Up in parallel connection, what happens? Parallel ke andar, voltage remains same. Kyun? Kyunki end points to same hai na? Ha? End points are same. These end points are same. Means voltage across two points, that is V, will remain the same. अगर दो पॉइंट हमने फिक्स कर लिए उनके बीच में वोल्टेज फिक्स हो गया अब उसके बीच में आप कितना ही रेजिस्टेंस लगा दो राइट सो आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर फोर वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट बट इफ यू हैव फिक्स दो टू पॉइंट द वोल्टेज रिमेन सेम इन सीरीज क्या हो रहा था द पॉइंट वर चेंजिंग ना आर वन का पॉइंट अलग है आर टू का पॉइंट अलग है आर थ्री का पॉइंट अलग है दिस पॉइंट वर चेंजिंग सो दैट्स वाई वोल्टेज वॉज ऑल्सो चेंजिंग हेयर द पॉइंट रिमेन द सेम मीन द वोल्टेज रिमेन द सेम हाउ मच दिस वी वोल्टेज विल बी गिवन टू आर वन ऑल्सो एंड आर टू ऑल्सो then what will change current there in end to end connection series connection current was same here voltage is same there voltage was split here current is getting divided total current flowing in the circuit is i but individually each branch it's a branch only na bhai dono point same hai ye dono branch hi to hai right in each branch current will be different i1 and i2 so in parallel connection what splits what divides current what remains same voltage in series connection what divides voltage what remains same current okay fine series mein current same rehta hai parallel mein voltage same rehta hai very good sab so, yahan par humne bola i total that is, is equal to i1 plus i2 agar main iska ek equivalent circuit bana do if i make a equivalent circuit this is r equivalent and this is v and this is i sab kuch same rahega I will just replace multiple resistances with one resistance that is R equivalent. That is how we simplify a circuit, है ना? ठीक है? Fine. So here V is equal to I R equivalent. So I is equal to V upon R equivalent. ठीक है? Current हमने बोल दिया is equal to V upon I R equivalent. ठीक है? In this one, in this particular case, this total voltage is V, है ना? R1 के क्रॉस कितना वोल्टेज है V. R2 के क्रॉस कितना वोल्टेज है V. सो आई कैन से कि भाई पहले वाले केस में V इज इक्वल टू आई वन इंटू आर हेयर वी इज इक्वल टू आई टू इंटू आर टू राइट है ना करेक्ट अब I1 और I2. टू बट वी रिमेन सेम हा सो I1 वन इज इक्वल टू टोटल करंट इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई टू है ना सो आई हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ I1 वन एंड आई टू इन टर्म्स ऑफ वी कुछ तो कॉमन चाहिए मेरे को है ना so let's say v upon r1 is equal to i1 yahan par v upon r2 is equal to i2 and here total i is equal to v upon r equivalent so i will say v upon r equivalent is equal to v upon r1 plus v upon r2 v can be cancelled so what did we get 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 और मल्टीपल रेजिस्टेंस होंगे यू कैन जस्ट कीप टेकिंग इट ऑन वर अपॉन आर एन सो दैट्स हाउ वी हैव डिराइव्ड द फॉर्मूला फॉर द इक्वल रेजिस्टेंस इन पैरेलल सर्किट है ना ठीक है पैरेलल में इस तरह से यू कैन फाइंड द इक्वल रेजिस्टेंस सीरीज में कुछ नहीं था सिंपल सम करना था पैरेलल में क्या करना है वन अपॉन करके सम कर देना है ठीक है फाइन और राइट नाउ लेट्स जस्ट रिकॉल एवरीथिंग वी हैव लर्न फॉर पैरेलल पहली चीज व्हाट रिमेन सेम पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस रिमेन द सेम इन पैरेलल ओके फाइन सेकेंड टोटल करंट इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ करंट इन द इंडिविजुअल रजिस्टर्स हर एक ब्रांच में जो करंट होगा उन सारे करंट का सम करोगे सो दैट इज द टोटल करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सर्किट है ना ठीक है दैट इज द टोटल करंट टोटल वैल्यू टोटल रजिस्टेंस वैल्यू इज लेस देन एनी इंडिविजुअल रजिस्टर इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट यहां पर पता है क्या है यहां पर रजिस्टेंस की वैल्यू ओवरऑल डिक्रीज होती है इन सीरीज द ओवरऑल वैल्यू रजिस्टेंस इंक्रीज इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट देखो टू ओम्स टू ओम्स राइट हेयर इफ यू मेक अ इक्वल रेजिस्टेंस कितना आएगा टू प्लस टू दैट इज फोर ओम्स इफ यू टेक टू ओम्स एंड वन ओम्स कितना आएगा टू प्लस वन दैट इज थ्री ओम इफ यू टेक पैरल कनेक्शन टू ओम्स टू ओम्स कितना आ जाएगा वन अपॉन आर इक्वल एंड इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू प्लस वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू टू बाई टू इज इक्वल टू वन ओम्स सो आर इक्वल एंड इज इक्वल टू वन ओम्स नोटिस पैरेलल में क्या हुआ इक्वल रेजिस्टेंस इज वन ओम्स सीरीज में कितना था फोर ओम्स इफ आई टेक 
टू ओम्स एंड वन ओम्स राइट रेजिस्टेंस कितना होगा इक्विवेलेंट सी फॉर टू रेजिस्टेंसेस देर इज अ शॉर्टकट फॉर टू रेजिस्टेंसेस इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड आर इक्विवेलेंट इट कैन बी आर वन इन टू आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू कैसे आया ये सिंपल सॉल्व किया मैंने वन अपॉन आर इक्वेलेंट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस वन अपॉन आर टू एल सी एम ले लो कितना आ रहा है आर वन आर टू आर टू प्लस आर वन इज इक्वल टू आर इक्वेलेंट जस्ट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन आर इक्वेलेंट टेक द रेसी प्रोकल सो आर इक्वेलेंट इज इक्वल टू आर वन आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू सो दिस इज अ शॉर्टकट फॉर्मूला यू कैन रिमेंबर लेकिन हम लोग क्या ट्राई कर रहे हैं वी आर सेइंग टू ओम्स एंड वन ओम्स इफ दे आर इन पैरल Equivalent resistance will be how much? It will be two into one upon two plus one. That is two by three. Individual resistances were कितना? Individually resistances were two ohms and one ohms. Equivalent resistance कितना है? Two by three. Two by three. Two by three is less than one. Right? So in parallel combination, the equivalent resistance is lesser than any individual resistance. In series. The equivalent resistance is bigger than any equivalent resistance, है ना? Series में जो final resistance आता है ना equivalent resistance that is bigger than any of the individual resistance. Final resistance individual हर एक resistance से बड़ा होगा. Parallel में क्या होगा? The equivalent resistance it is going to be smaller than any individual resistance. ये जो final resistance आएगा ना equivalent वाला ये छोटा होगा individually हर resistance से. So this is everything. Take a screenshot if you want, right? I'll just move to the side. चलो, लेट्स कम फॉरवर्ड नाउ। तो दिस इज़ द पैरेलल सर्किट्स। अब इसके ऊपर तो राइट क्वेश्चन कर लेना फटाफट। लेट्स फ्रीज़ एवरीथिंग। एकदम अच्छे से। फोर आइडेंटिकल वायर्स ऑफ़ रेजिस्टेंस आर ओम्स आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल। इफ़ द इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ़ दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज़ ए Pause the video, solve this question, and then cross check. Otherwise, keep listening very carefully. Four identical wires of resistance R ohms are connected in parallel. कितने हैं wires? Sir, चार. हर एक का resistance कितना है? चार ohms, right? Sorry, R ohms. हर एक का resistance कितना है? R ohms. But total wires कितने हैं? चार. So we have four resistances of R ohms each. Very good. If the equivalent resistance of this combination is X ohms, all right. And how are they connected? Parallel. Then the ratio R is to X is. देखो भाई. पहले four resistances of R ohms each connected in parallel. मतलब sir, I can say one, two, three and four. R, 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 R. So we have got four resistances of R ohm each connected in Parallel, okay. Now, the equivalent resistance कितना है? X. So if you want to find the equivalent resistance, then it will be one upon R1 plus one upon R2 plus one upon R3 plus one upon R4. The shortcut I I taught you, it is only for two resistances. For four resistances, solve it properly. Shortcut मत मारने यहाँ पे. You'll make mistake, right? So this will be what? Sir, one upon R plus one upon R plus one upon R plus one upon R. Up, if you think about it, one upon R is added four times. If you add two, four times two plus two plus two plus two, kya aata hai? Four into two. So it will be four into one upon R. Solve kar lo, yehi aayega. Thik hai? Fine. So this is one upon R equivalent. So R equivalent is equal to R upon four. R equivalent is X. So X is equal to R upon four. What do you have to find? You have to find R is to X. So R is to X is R upon X. कितना है? R upon four. So this is four is to one. So the ratio of R is to X is four is to one. I hope this is clear. It was an easy question, na? I mean, in the first look, it might look difficult, but it's a very easy question. But it's a good question. Why? Because it's a pattern. This one question can be made into multiple questions. बहुत क्वेश्चन बन सकते हैं इस पे, ठीक है? Fine. And you know what? Normally, whatever lights we use in the Diwali decoration, they are a combination of series and parallels, right? So, all these lights, they are actually a combination of series and parallel connections. All right? 
So we are surrounded with this series and parallel connection everywhere and I hope you understood. Let's just give me one small thing. Look, boy. This is something I'm just recalling for everybody. Voltage V is current A. Hai. These are three bulbs. These two are in series. This one is in parallel with these two. Okay, fine. All right. So when I choose the simplified circuit, you know, I what I will do? I will make the exact same circuit, but I will not use three resistances. I will use only one resistance. And that will be called as my R equivalent. So V is equal to I into R equivalent. Fine. Okay. Right. This is how the combination of resistors can be done. And this is a very big question. Combination of resistors ke upar baut question ban sakte hai. Matlab itne resistor ke diagram ban sakte hai. You can't even imagine. Right. This is the first one. The most simple one. We have two resistors in series and one in parallel with those two. Okay. Chalo. One more question. Let's see. The minimum and maximum resistances that can be obtained using four two ohm bulbs are easy question, eh? But if you know the answer, if you think you can solve it, pause the video and solve it. Otherwise, listen. The answer. There go. Minimum maximum resistance. So tell me, uh, which connection gives you the maximum resistance? Series. Which connection gives you the minimum resistance? Parallel. Obviously. So for maximum resistance. I will take the series connection. For minimum, I will take the parallel connection. Right? Clear? Okay. Now, how much is the value of each resistance? Two ohms. And by two ohms. Hai. If you connect four, kitne? Mm -hmm, four, na? This is we have four two ohms resistances. If you connect two ohms resistances. 2, 2, 2, 2 in series, how much will you get? You will get 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 8 ohms. So this is the R series equivalent, right? This is the R equivalent in series. If you connect all the 2 ohms in parallel, 2, 2, 2, 2, what will you get? Sir, 1 upon R equivalent is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 4 by 2, that is 2. So R equivalent is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 ohms. So the minimum value is 0 0.5 ohms. Maximum value is 8 ohms. Simple, na? Series mein kya hota hai? Overall resistance badhta hai, na? In parallel what happens? Overall resistance decreases. So minimum value is the parallel wala. The maximum value is the series wala, right? So let's just summarize everything we have learned today. And we have learned a lot. Believe me. Agar aap, you are seeing this session for the first time and you haven't watched Constant Fights, please watch it because today you'll face problems, I know, right? Listen to me, resistors in series, what remains the same? Current. What splits? Voltage. What is the R equivalent? R1 plus R2. Just add them algebraically, right? Resistors in parallel means they have common nodes. What remains same? Voltage. What splits? Current. So if you add the current of each branch, what will you get? The total current. Right? So I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Right? And if you want to find equivalent resistance, that will be 1 upon R equivalent is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Do it. As many resistance are there. Koi dikkar nahi hai. Right? What are the advantages of parallel connection? If you know in your house, this, everything is parallel, right? Every appliance, it takes how much voltage? 220, 230, 240, hai na? So at every socket, at every plug point, you have same voltage. Aap ghar mein kuch bhi appliance use karte ho, usko voltage same milta hai. Means, it's a parallel connection. And think about it. Ghar mein, agar ek appliance kharaab hota hai, doesn't mean the whole house electricity stops, right? You know, it's a problem with one plug point, one appliance. It's okay. Other things are working normally. Means, Agar ek bulb fuse hoga, it will not affect the other bulb. This is what? Parallel connection, right? So whatever we discussed, that is the advantage of parallel connection. So what are the advantages of parallel connection? If you think about it, first, we have same voltage across all the appliances, right? So in parallel, appliances can be turned on and off individually. Aisa nahi hai ke sabko ek saath hi chalo hona padega, ek saath hi band hona padega, like in series which you don't want, right? Same voltage is appearing across all the appliances. We know that, right? Okay. In series connection, appliances cannot be turned on and off individually. Ek ko karoge, sabko karna padega. Ek ko band karoge, sabko band karna padega, right? Because it's series connection, right? 
वोल्टेज इट गेट्स डिवाइडेड फॉर ऑल द अपलायसेज मतलब हर एक अपलायंस को ना वोल्टेज बहुत कम कम मिल पाएगा दे विल स्टार्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द वोल्टेज राइट सो दैट्स अनदर प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ पैरेलल कनेक्शन इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क आई होप यू कैन आंसर इट अब एक होमवर्क क्वेश्चन हो जाए लेट्स सी हाउ मच यू हैव लर्न टुडे एंड दैट्स प्रीटी मच राइट प्रीटी मच यू हैव लर्न एवरीथिंग टुडे फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर आई एम टेलिंग यू चलो एक छोटा सा क्वेश्चन है फाइंड द इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द गिवन रेजिस्टिव नेटवर्क अक्रॉस ए बी टू हेल्प यू आउट फॉर दीज इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस कांसेप्ट्स आई विल पुट अ लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गो अहेड एंड वॉच इट आउट because i want you to crack these class 10 boards like anything yaar 98 99 to aisa lagna chahiye mazaak right all right so everybody it's a homework question for you i hope you understood everything if you have any doubt any confusion let me know in the comment section because i'll reply you back but watch all the concept bite sessions i have given you till now because that's very important then only today's session will make sense to you right we have to solve many questions live will do all of them but before that i want you to be prepared khali hath nahi aana right so everybody subscribe the channel now if you are someone new and you like what we do like this video if you think this was helpful and share it to your friends we want the community to build right chahiye humko yaar aur log chahiye jo log passionate ho science ke liye jo log sach mein padhna chahte ho who want quality education you share it with them and we'll take care of the rest see you next time take care bye bye